Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm King Sway, and we're back at it with another adventure. Uh, this time, it's Alduin's Wall. Esbern and Delphine are well already on their way. <coughs> so we shall join them. Ho, oh, hey, we're on our way. We're going to Alduin's Wall. Ho, oh, hey, what do you say? We're going to kill them all. Ho, oh, hey. What do you say? We're going to Alone's Wall. Oh, hey, what do you say? Well, I'm killing him. I'm having a ball. So, we are on our way. Just, uh, before we're we doing it, I kind of want to check something to see if I if I have the ability to go like go close first. If I can jump around and not have to like just walk all the way there. <clears throat> We can walk. What is it? There's nothing wrong with that. You'll have to speak up. I'm a little deaf. On the way there, we may. Uh... Oh, hey, my girl Serana. What's room looking for? Well, actually, just go on an adventure. You know, killing things, and maybe we'll find some dragons that'll that'll land, and and we'll stab them in the eye. Because, of course, I'm going to steal me some souls. It's what I do. I mean, this far in the adventure, wh where have you been? I've been stealing souls for quite some time now. Hit you with an ice spike. <coughs> because that's what she does.
because I like to burn things. Yeah, baby, burn. I'm trying to do the low level stuff because uh, the low level stuff doesn't kill them off instantly, and while you're hitting them, it counts as getting up your uh, your destruction, your destruction uh skill. Um, I've never been much of a mage, as you can see. Like I'm more of a run up, chop your limbs off, and, and stab you type individual. But there's nothing wrong with a little magic. As ever, as always, I'm robbing everybody. Because all shall suffer. All shall suffer. Well, it's running up there. The little ghoul thing. Elven bow. Looks like an elven bow and steel arrows. See, as I was saying, it helps get your, uh, your destruction off. arrows you know oh look it's a new uh, plaything for Serana One thing that I can do that the computer or NPCs can't, I can climb. Well, the horse can, but only if uh, you're on it. Horses climb like goats. Climbing for you. Hoping I don't fall. That would be worst of all. Trying to hop onto this thing. Closer I will bring myself to my destiny. Because that's just crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy.
What the heck? Okay, that looks like deer. Oh, great wolves. You have contracted rock. Joint. I guess that's their version of arthritis. Which I would actually know about because I have it and that stuff hurts. It hurts. Oh, look, a dragon. Are you any dragon? Because those wings look different. Okay, you're, yeah. Time to bust out. Old Reliable. Doot, 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 voila, loot, loot, loot. Slayer Gaming hates that my character hits so friggin' hard. I'm sitting there. Oh, you got a man. Oh, you didn't last long, did you? Did you, buddy? Because that power attack is just that a power attack, and I hack. That's almost 260, 520, plus another 260 is 780. 780 per power attack. That's yeah. If, I, if I'm doing my math correctly, I'm actually doing 130 per sword. Okay, that's what I thought. That's why he just had a name. He was just arisen. So if he was just brought back to life... Alduin's around here somewhere. I'll do it. Oh, 28. That's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. 12 off. So, 12 off. That's 2. Th now, I thought it was 130. So, it's 130, 260. 260. 520. 780. 780 minus 12. Which is seven, seven sixty eight, yeah. That ain't too far off on twelve points. No, I'm off. I'm incorrect. Not 12. 18 points. Which makes it 762. My math was incorrect. Do not laugh at me. Do not laugh. I'm a player and players mess up sometimes. And I don't have any uh, points to give. If you look, you can see where I put most of my... Uh, Most of my um, what's his face is my uh, my level up points, and what I've enhanced them with. I didn't do I. <clears throat> what I wanted, but I could not find, is the that amulet that increases all of them by thirty. But you got to do, you got to find each piece, you got to fight each brother, and then you got to fight the brothers together. And then the dad comes back and is like, no. I'm sorry, my sons are buttholes.
I usually just kill that Imperial dude. I say Imperial, what I mean is Noble. Nobles are buttholes. Since Slayer Gaming doesn't know what to do with my characters, and while we're playing like uh, the D20 system, the fifth, the fifth edition D20 system of D&D, &D, we're using that for for Skyrim. First time we were playing, we did Ironous Castle, and we did that adventure for a while. But the thing about it is, he ended up making my character a demigod by accident because he he did some cool factor stuff, and I've tried to tell him over the years, cool factor. Can really mess some stuff up he put a demon inside of my character and while i was completely opposed to it at first i was like you know what you're the dm it ended up coming back to bite him in the butt my character part of his um his classes is a monk monks hold spiritual powers and they know how to manipulate their own spirit and chi a demon is a spiritual being so basically i went ichigo on him he, uh, the demon inside what who was called Ragul is the dark Ichigo, the, uh, the hollow Ichigo, and I'm Ichigo, well, the character is anyway. And I went and I was able to control the hollow part, I guess you want to call it. And I could use all his powers, and then eventually the guy works with the spirit work the demon works with me so I'm even stronger so when we work do the same attack together power wise it's that much more powerful uh, so we switched over to because he didn't want to deal with a demigod because he didn't know how to deal with something like that we switched over to to uh, Skyrim because well I'm playing Skyrim well now for my channel ended up with a vampire who can walk in the daylight thanks to some some deals I made in character and out dragon yeah that's Aldoin what did I tell you he's around here resin dragons and what's gonna happen we ain't letting you resin on dragons around here cuz But I ended up with, I have my own guild. I have my own guild. I have control of Helgen. I'm rebuilding Helgen. Helgen has its own walls. We, we are a small community, but I'm lining it with as many wet with as much dwarven technology and, and weapons that I can. Because my character understands dwarven technology. So. While he's trying to figure that out, we're actually doing World of Darkness from White Wolf. I only have the modern books, which I've had for like 20 years. Don't at me. <laughs> Ali Ali Oxen, take this in your butt. Yeah, Alduin. Yeah. Did I mess up your little plan? Come and fight. Come and fight me. No, no, don't run away. Don't run away. No. I can't run that fast. You know, friggin' well, I can't run fast enough to keep up with a flying individual because you're just yeah wiener wiener so let's see if this actually hatches resurrects whatever you know what I'm talking about I guess that's not going to. Uh, okay, yeah. Moving right along, moving right along. Hey, hey. Moving right along, moving right along. Hey, hey. 
And I guess there's a vampire nearby. Back up, cuz. Back up, cuz. And now we go. Put all my gear back. The thing about it is, I usually end up playing the the healer of the group. I don't actually like always having to be the healer. My daughter, Princess Gamer, is actually playing uh, a healer. She's helping to be a healer this time. As I yeah, die, slash, slash. Now to deal with that friggin' wizard. I like to be the one with all the arcane powers. I don't like arcane powers used against me. I want to be the cool guy. So, uh, while I'm robbing this guy, well, you can't. Technically, you can't rob the dead, you know. There's got to be something around here because they just wouldn't be around here for no reason. They're thralls. Oh, look. A crypt. And this is just in the ground with somebody's uh, tent and camp over it. Something happened because that's uh, the ashes of something that lost its form. I guess the vampire isn't here right now. Good for you, because I'd slay you. Slayer of vampires, killer of dragons, monsters, and all of the kinds of wheelie deals. But yeah, uh, we're doing a World of Darkness system. My daughter originally didn't like it, but it's been actually been quite so many years since I've tried to use the World of Darkness, the D10 World of Darkness system. And as I said before, all my books hold the old World of Darkness, not the new World of Darkness, where uh, you know the end of the world was approaching, not where the end of the world happened and they rewrote everything, they rebooted it. I do know about those books, but I don't have I don't have any of those. I've never gotten the last few books I got for role playing have been fifth edition uh monster manual player's guide dungeon master's guide player's handbook dungeon master's guide i also have um rifts uh i used to play rifts not so much anymore now i use ideas from that and i blend it into like say we're playing gamma world i blend that in we don't really use magic in gamma world we use tech powers since there's nanites and we use tech powers to emulate magic <coughs> I said emulate more simulate um, so yeah like I said I've had the world of darkness books for 20 years but I all except my werewolf book which is falling apart at spy everything else is in pretty good conditions um my son's playing a demonically possessed werewolf as am I and my daughter yeah that sounds big oh yeah baby 
My daughter's playing a, a demon, well, the demon character. But demon is a broad term. She hasn't decided whether or not she's going to be a good, angelic or demonic. But if she's going to be helping us in, in being a healer, I'm assuming she's going to be angelic. I haven't decided, but I'm going to try and be angelic. Come down in her fight, you coward. But the way I'm being a healer is I took up human magics, the Hedgewick, the Hedgewick magics. No, that mm, Hedgewick magics and. I have alchemy, which I use to make potions. Enchantment, which I use to make some magic items that can help us. And I have hellfire, which I use to just do some damage. I also have werewolf gifts because my character knows how to use gnosis. Dang that he took over the body of a werewolf. And I have the powers of a demon. Killed by faith. Very powerful character, but if you know anything about World of Darkness, it's not like Dungeons and Dragons where you can just poof and activate powers. Everything has a cost. And starting out you may be powerful but if you're you're uh you burn out quick if you use your powers too much like i have a tattoo that increases my strength by three by three whole points and and done uh in white wolf that is an actual big deal but to activate it uh i need to sacrifice some spiritual energy Come on, you play too much. Friggin' dragon. I'll shoot you up your butthole. It was like a barrage of arrows. Yeah, this is what I'm looking for. You really, you friggin' just thought. <clears throat> Really? Really, Homer? Let's attack a nearby village, and when somebody can actually fight back, come and fight back around, you run away. That's why I am the dragon. Take this. Take it. Take Take this to your ass, Mr. Postman. Yeah. Now be gone. hold guard too bad for you so set up and people are just coming out the caves or the mine rather i would have helped but uh you know the guards and whatnot they told us to stay back good thing you stepped in i was ready to come out there yeah yeah we know we know sure you were buddy Sure you were. I actually think playing uh, White Wolf stuff is more story driven. While I do like a good story, sometimes that is harder for me because most of my adventures are combat based. 
the story derives around stop the bad guy, you know, and stuff like that. It's on less story based things. But White Wolf, the the premise focuses more on story. Like the person DMing isn't even called it a game master; they're called a storyteller. So since we're all demons, and the way a demon possesses someone is that that person dies. I'm having it that there was some big old magical battle and like somebody was trying to summon a demon and it messed up and it cost a whole bunch of people their lives and in that that's when more demons showed up I was like oh hey party over here because the character originally is a werewolf that understands human magic that's under that was working with human magics the the hatchet magic I'm not because and he lost his pack in the process of doing so the reason he lost his pack is because the pack can tell while he is who he says he is he's not like there's something wrong with his spirit so he left on his own became a bounty hunter and a, a mercenary ended up having great success being a bounty hunter and started being a merchant a merchant a warrior merchant he owns his own shop and everything so what that helps is I have a small get I have a small gathering of thralls which helps so I don't have to uh it's a cheap chibi uh, I call it cheap I said chibi it's a cheapy way of making sure that I don't have to actually play out having to gain my thralls because they already follow me and I since they have a pact with me I allow them to to have like some kind of power I make a thrall I give you something to to make you better than your peers by your peers I mean the guys that don't work with me My daughter, Princess Sway, is playing as well. She's actually a thrall of mine. And her character is just completely human because she's too young to understand all the little nuances of being a monster. Or something to that degree. But my character being what he is, you can die. You can die horribly. Brian Hart. It actually grants them, for alchemical purposes, lots of things. Like, uh, like I said, my character has tattoos on him that allow him to increase his strength. I had to figure out something because I wanted a ring initially, but if I shift, if I go from human form to war form, uh, I wanted something that wouldn't, that would still be with me, so I can still have that, in when I shift, that much greater strength. Um, I offered to make magical weapons for my children. Actually, uh, I'm making two for Princess Gamer because she's playing. Like I said, she's taking literally taking up alchemy and healing as two of her uh, as two of her headquarters paths. Alchemy healing and shape shifting. And me being, like I said, as my character being a werewolf, I can use my character's physiology as part of um, alchemical things. I can skin a werewolf. The rock werewolf egg is used for health potions. I can skin a werewolf and use the leather its skin and use that as an armband for her to use as a focus to shapeshift. Uh, and maybe she can shape and slowly learn she can slowly learn shapeshift into a werewolf. So technically it's a pack of three demon werewolves. Technically. While she, oh, what the heck did y'all do? 
And we see who's the stronger, because Serana just took Delphine. I don't know what happened. I turned like I, I yeah. Look, you saw I turned around. And these two are fighting. I was like, oh hey, did we forget one? I'm just gonna ignore it. They can't kill each other technically. Makes for powerful characters, but as I said, but there you have to ration your power. We've got to get this bridge. You only have so many bullets in in, in the in the clip. Must have something to do with it. In a magazine. Yes. You've got like symbols. You had the symbol for king and warrior. I wanna say this big old anti-tank rifle. But you only have like one in the chamber and uh yes. like five shots in your magazine yeah you can do some manny damage but you gonna run out of bullets real quick and that's kind of how the world of darkness system is of course it matters to you but you don't get to make this decision for me yeah no baby it's, it's none of my business Probably not. I actually didn't even mean to talk to you. And the thing about it is... Let's just get this over with. I think that circlet that I gave her... She... Actually, uh... Makes her powers stronger. Which I wanted. There's a, uh, a wizard we helped. A female wizard. Who her mom was trying to do turn into a uh, a hag raven and we stopped that i don't know if it was she and i that stopped that or fanthal fandal because i i had fandal all up until well we met her and you guys i think you guys saw that you had to have seen it we should be careful here see these symbols on the floor esbrin's right Look like pressure plates. Be careful. We'll cross once it's safe. It safe. Yeah. Let's move. Pass that with flying colors. get a wolf but I'll settle for a raven because my character is a werewolf and, and him having a wolf somebody to run with you know and be wolf like with but at the same time I think a raven would do just as well because with the raven most people don't bother with ravens and actually I'm looking at that uh, when we played Dungeons and Dragons, when we played Fifth Edition, and I was Dakari, one thing I would do is I would see through the eyes of my Raven. So I had, like, I would have the Raven shoot, uh, fly up. You couldn't sneak up behind me unless you were like invisible or something like that. So I was seeing through the Raven's eyes the whole area. Cut my hand! Cut my hand! I think I'm going to use some of the regents, the, uh, the alchemy regents from this, from uh, the game of Skyrim, and put it into my World of Darkness stuff. Like, Nightshade actually exists. Belladonna and things like that, you know, poisons. But uh, Imp Stool and stuff like that, use that for, uh, for like healing potions and the like. I know this video ran a lot, ran a lot longer than what I normally do. Uh, but. Well, we went here the long way. 
it would have been much of a video if I would have just poured it over and like poof here we are because even getting here like when we actually got here when it wasn't a much of a fight not to me anyway Come on, you guys can do it. Where you at? Yeah, come on, Esbern. Oh, Delphine. Stay, same stuff. Where you at, Esbern? Bing. <coughs> yeah, because you have a dragon sword too, baby. Yeah. Aldrin's wall, I've never seen a final example of her second I gave one to Fandal, but I haven't gotten back to him since I started using you. You're powerful. And you don't get in the way. Look, isn't it amazing? Ah, thank you. Excellent. Now, where were we? Here, the humans rebel against their dragon overlords, the legendary dragon war. Aldrin's oh, defeat what is the it? centerpiece of the war. Uh, you see, here is fallen from the sky. The Nord Tongs, masters of the voice, are... Isn't it amazing? Ah, of course. Not everyone has an appreciation for the artistic wonders of the world. Let me see if I can find the right panel. So does it show how they defeated him? Isn't that why we're here? Ah, patience, my dear. The Akaviri were not a straightforward people. Everything is couched in allegory and mythic symbolism. Yes, yes. This here, coming from the mouths of the Nord heroes, this is the Akaviri symbol for shout. But there's no way to know what shout is meant. You mean they used a shout to defeat Alduin? You're sure? Oh, yes. Presumably something rather specific to Dragons. Or even Alduin himself. Remember, this is where they recorded all the new of Alduin and his return. So we're looking for a shout then? Damn it. You ever heard of such a thing? A shout that can knock a dragon out of the sky? You're probably right. I was hoping to avoid having to involve them in this, but it seems we have no choice. If they had their way, you'd do nothing but sit up on their mountain with them and talk to the sky or whatever it is they do. The Greybeards are so afraid of power that they won't use it. Think about it. Have they tried to stop the Civil War or done anything about Alduin? No. And they're afraid of you of your power. Trust me, there is no need to be afraid. Think of Tiber Septim. Do you think he'd have founded the Empire if he'd listened to the Greybeards? Only if you don't know how to use it. All the great heroes have had to learn to Did use it. Did I mention I don't like Delphine? I'm, I've Those been quiet for this a little bit because of... Uh, You've never heard the of explanations them. going on. And they are the villains. The exposition. Those that misused their power. There's always a choice, and there's always a risk. But if you live in fear of what might go wrong, you'll end up doing nothing. Like the Greybeards up on their mountain. But she demands that you kill Parthenax. Right. I ain't with it. They've already let I ain't with it at all. Cult. Not likely they'd help or and I don't know why people call them party snacks. We'll look around Sky Never understood that. And see what else the old blades might have left for us. 
It's a better hideout than I could have hoped for. Talos guard you. Look here, in the third panel. The All right. prophecy which brought the Alkaviri to Tamriel in the first place. In search of the dragon ball. We have done Alduin's Wall. Here are the Alkaviri, the blades. That is the end of this. So with that being ended this lengthy video, I'll catch you guys later. I'm King Sway, and I will see you with the next one.